Greetings to our friends and partners across America and around the world. Our topic today is, Who Owns the Land of Israel? All real estate transactions go to great lengths to determine the identity of the original owner of the land to prevent a legal cloud from being formed over the title deed. The debate of who owns the land of Israel can be resolved in the same manner. Who was the original owner of this hotly contested strip of real estate on the eastern edge of the Mediterranean Sea? The answer is not Abraham, Isaac, or Jacob. The correct answer is God Almighty, the creator of heaven and earth. The title deed to Israel reads, In the beginning God created the heavens and the earth. In the beginning means the dateless past, when God Almighty created the world. Created is the Hebrew word bara, which means to make from nothing. He made from nothing the heavens and the earth. The word earth is the Hebrew word eretz, meaning dry ground. So at the end of Genesis 1 and 1, there is a complete creation. Therefore, God, as creator of the earth, is the original owner of the earth. King David, Israel's prophet, poet, and warrior statesman, puts his pen to parchment and he writes, quote, The earth is the Lord's and all its fullness, the world and those who dwell therein. Psalms 24, 1. For 3,500 years, the land of Israel has belonged to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob and their seed forever by an everlasting and eternal blood covenant recorded in the Bible. Israel is the only nation on earth created by a sovereign act of God. Genesis 12, 1 through 3, 13, 16, 15, 5, 17, 7, and 8, 22, 17, and 18. Six locations that's in the Bible. The land was given to the Jewish people exclusively and eternally in Genesis 12, 1, Genesis 13, 14, and Genesis 15, 18. The land God promised includes the modern-day nation of Israel and parts of modern-day Egypt, Syria, Lebanon, and Iraq. That would be found in Genesis 15, 18, and 21, those of you from Harvard who are now falling off the couch. This concept that the Palestinians have owned the land of Israel in times past, that God Almighty promised Abraham and the Jewish people forever, is one of history's greatest frauds. The claim that the Arabs are related to Abraham through Ishmael is a fact. Their claim to the land of Israel through Ishmael is absolutely false. The Bible clearly records that Abraham pled with God to allow Ishmael to own the land. And God sent back a one-word FedEx from heaven saying, No. That's recorded in Genesis 17, 17, and 18. So our duty is to pray for the peace of Jerusalem. I am inspired to send this message to each of you by the fact that months ago President Trump met with Prime Minister Netanyahu in Washington, D.C. to present the Trump peace proposal. I was there. It was a masterful proposal that gave the Palestinians the opportunity of a better life through a $50 billion investment package. It was an effort that required years of work by the brilliant and talented inner circle of the president. It was made clear at the Washington meeting that this historic pledge plan could go into effect within days. If the Palestinians immediately rejected the plan, the U.S. will be prepared to accept the enactment of Israel's sovereignty over parts of the West Bank within 48 hours. It was made clear that this historic plan could go into effect within days. However, days have become weeks, weeks have become months. To be clear, the Palestinians have never owned Judea or Samaria. Never. That Israel will meet with a Palestinian leadership that still supports terrorists 
and incites violence against the Jewish people is a commentary on Israel's willingness to make every effort to advance peace with their neighbors, not a commentary on the Palestinians being deserving on yet another chance at the negotiating table. Our role is to heed the commandment that we pray for the peace of Jerusalem, and that time is now. If you were blessed by this devotional, would you prayerfully consider a donation to Hagee Ministries to help us continue to take the life-giving message of Jesus Christ to all the world and to every generation? You can give today by going to www.jhm.org. Thank you for your gift. That's God's Word for this week. I'll see you Sunday morning live over the Internet at 8.30 a.m. or 11 a.m. Central Standard Time on Facebook, YouTube, or website at Hagee Ministries. I'll see you Sunday morning.